How long has it been since you updated your LinkedIn header? Maybe you don't know how. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through the process and talk to you about why you should be updating your header regularly. So let's get started. Let's go on over to LinkedIn. So we're on your LinkedIn profile. The process to update your header is fairly easy. Before you go through and go on the link to upload it, make sure that you do have some graphic that you'd like to upload in there. Now, my favorite go-to tool for this is canva.com. And inside Canva, you can create a custom size header. The ideal size is 1584 by 396. Those are the dimensions. So it's a really great tool. It's like graphic design for dummies. So that's where I recommend you create your header. After you've got it created, make sure you export it. I like PNG formats because those retain the quality of the photo without pixelating or getting fuzzy or anything. So I've already got my PNG saved in a folder on my desktop. And now what you're going to do is on your header, in the upper right-hand corner, you're going to see a little pencil icon that will be in there. You've never uploaded, you're going to see a camera icon. But if we're refreshing our header, we're going to click on that pencil icon. Then we're going to be into the background photo pop-up menu. You're going to scroll down to the bottom. It's a little bit confusing because you don't see it right away, right? Scroll down to the bottom and you're going to click on change photo. Now from here, you have a couple options. One is upload photo. That's what the route we're going to take today. But if you don't have a graphic created, the cool thing is LinkedIn has a image library that you can choose from. A lot of these are somewhat stock art photos. They have some cause-based banners as well. If you don't have anything of your own, you can certainly use this as a placeholder for now, but I would recommend that you create a banner of, of your own. Once you have that created, we're going to click on upload photo. And I'm just going to navigate to my folder location. Now, I like to save a folder on my desktop that's called LinkedIn headers because there's a few headers that I can use that almost serve as an evergreen type of message. I can rotate these in any time of the year when I'm ready to swap it out. By the way, you should be changing your LinkedIn header at least once a year, at least once a year. Keeping in mind that when you do update your header, no notification is gonna go out to your network. So you can actually change this even more regularly. I like to think of your header as like a banner on the side of a highway and cars are driving by all the time. The same thing happens on LinkedIn. You get people that are coming to your profile all the time. And if you've never changed your header they're seeing the same message over and over again and you know what they do with that banner they start to ignore it right so when we change it up we help to bring more eyeballs onto the messages in there so i just updated my banner with an upcoming event i'm going to click on upload to grab that then we have to scroll down to the bottom again and click on apply we'll give it just a few seconds and it should load if for any reason it doesn't look like it's here and you went through that process just click on that screen refresh that little circular arrow at the top of your screen next to your URL field, and that should refresh it, and voila. Now you've got an updated LinkedIn header. People visiting your profile are gonna take notice what's inside here. If you wanna get a little bit fancy like I've done, you can include some information about an upcoming event. Remember, include the uh, title of the event, date, time, maybe a web link and a QR code. Even though the web link's not clickable, people can visit that. And you might need to make a little bit of adjustment as well. I see now that I've uploaded this, my headshot photo is covering a bit of the text. So I'm gonna make a quick tweak on my profile and then I'll be publishing this video on both YouTube and LinkedIn. Hey, did you find this helpful? Do let me know in comments below and I'd love it if you could subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on that bell so you get notified of all the great video updates like these. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you on LinkedIn. I hope to help you get a bigger slice of the LinkedIn pie.